Hello everyone and welcome to Sun. Get down. Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday. Remember yesterday when we made that concoction for dinner that was uh, chicken and feta and cream and cream, yeah, and, and red pesto. Yeah. Um, anyway, uh, I had mentioned yesterday how that would probably be really good over pasta. So today for lunch, that's what I'm doing. Um, Mao is skipping out on carbs, but I'm not. So uh, I took some brown penne pasta and uh, cooked that up. And I think that's going to be a really, really good um, combination here. Because when I was eating it yesterday, that's all I could think about is how much better it would be with, uh, with pasta. That's real hot. Be careful. It looks like it'll burn me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Real good with pasta? Yeah. Yeah. It's much better with pasta. So today a very interesting box arrived, and it's interesting because of where it came from. It could be something really cool that I've been looking forward to for a long time, or it could be, well, something slightly less interesting, but still interesting. Check it out. Oh wait, is this everything? Oh, this is everything. Oh, snap. Check it out. This, you, you all know what this is, probably. This is a character from, I believe it's a character from, 40 Winks. And uh, 40 Winks is a game that, uh, God, it's been like two decades now, is a game that was uh, supposed to be released on both PlayStation and Nintendo 64. At the last second, the N64 version got scrapped and it only came out on the PlayStation. Uh, about a year or so ago, uh, there was a company, uh, Pico Interactive, that uh, decided they were going to have a Kickstarter to actually finish the Nintendo 64 version. So I signed up to that Kickstarter and it's been, I think, like a year. But now, finally, after all this time, um, it's it's done. And I signed on at one of the, the bigger tiers because I was pretty excited about this. You have to understand, we finished the North American N64 library. And the idea of releasing a new N64 game was pretty thrilling um, because we had already finished the library. This was my chance to, like, have a plus one on the library. And then also, I guess, in a way, finish it again. So um, this tier changed a lot over time. Like... Things got added and removed, and they're like, oh, we're going to add this and take away this or whatever. But here's what we ended up getting. We got this plush, which is a character from the game. I'm going to call him Time Bob. I don't know if that's his name. It just seems like a good enough name to me. Uh, also in here is this, and this is Special Edition OST. So this uh, it comes with a, um, you know, a soundtrack. There's also in here... A, uh, I think I know what this is. Yeah. At some point, they added a controller. So there is a uh, 40 Winx N64 controller, and it's obviously not a first party controller because those are not a thing. Uh, not these days, at least. But uh, I don't, again, I don't even think that this was part of the campaign initially. I think it was something that got added on later, because there was a few delays and stuff, and they tried to make it up to backers. I mean, I was fine with it. I, mean, I knew it was going to be one of those things that was going to take a while, but um, yeah, there's a, there's a controller, which is really neat. And then uh, inside, we have a copy of the game. This is... Why do I have two? <laughs> Why do I have two? <laughs> okay. Like, I knew I ordered, I knew I, did, I ordered this. I ordered a boxed copy and then a loose cart because I wanted, like, the box because, you know, it's a, it's a new game and I thought that was interesting. And then I wanted the, the cart to put in so it would match all the other carts we have. I don't know why there's a second box in here. Okay, I don't know if that was an error or if um, at one point in a sleep-deprived state I... I changed a thing and got another box, but, uh, okay. Anyway, uh, we've got a box copy of it. So this is neat. Obviously, it doesn't look the exact same because it's, you know, unlicensed um, by Nintendo. It's a Nintendo 64 game, you know, being released how many years after the fact? Like, 20 years. Uh, but this is really cool. And again, this uh, actually, you know, is a... You know, this is a functional game, and uh, it feels pretty similar to an original cartridge. It's not the, the exact same material and stuff that they use. Um, this is, 
reminiscent of if you were to get like a repro cart. That's what this feels like. I can't believe I have two of these things. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna plug this in quick just to just to make sure it works. You know, this is really cool because this is technically a brand new N64 game after all these years. And the idea of actually getting a chance to, to put a brand new game in the system is kind of exhilarating. It looks pretty good for uh, N64. I'm actually pretty blown away by how good this game looks. Like, the quality of the cutscenes. It's fully, it's fully voiced, but also, like, there's all of these facial animations and stuff. Like, in the N64 era, that's pretty astounding. The cutscenes look a little bit better than the actual... Hey, it's that guy! Oh, it's the plush! The game's very Banjo-Kazooie, in a the way. The music sounds familiar. Anyway, I'm not gonna, like, spend a lot of time playing this. I just think it's really awesome that, um... There's a brand new N64 game out. That's super, super cool. Now, eventually, uh, we're gonna make a case for this, and then it'll go at the start. Oh, you know what? They have different artwork. That's weird. That's really weird. Huh. Okay. Again, I don't remember ordering two, but, uh, I don't know, maybe I did. Maybe I was really excited about this. The thing is, this Kickstarter was so long ago that I don't really even remember, but, um, neat! Well, for a brief moment in time, our N64 collection was not complete. But, after getting this mail, it's complete again. Whew. That was close. Anyway, um, for the last few days, we've been uh, ending off the vlog by eating Kit Kats because we had uh, some really cool Kit Kats submitted to us. Um, today's might be a little less exciting. The next section is this section, and guess what? It's the normal Kit Kat, the original Kit Kat. But hey, that's part of it, and um, it'll be interesting to have a normal Kit Kat after two days of having things that were, you know, a little bizarre. I mean, it's hard to beat the original, but personally, I think I still like that better one better. The one that was like really dark chocolate. I liked that a lot. So maybe at some point in the future, um, we'll just find just the bitter ones because so far that's been my favorite of the three. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Now, uh, if this is the first you've heard of 40 Winks, um, I believe uh, Pico Interactive or Pico Interactive, however you pronounce that, uh, I believe they're going to be selling those on their site. Um, people that did the Kickstarter probably got like a better deal or something, but I'm pretty sure you can buy those if you're interested in owning uh, a very strange piece of what is now N64 history. Um, or maybe you already signed up for the Kickstarter and you got yours and you're excited. Um, it's kind of weird to have already completed a system and then a brand new game come out for something that's 20 years old. But it's unique and interesting and I'm in favor of it. Um, I like the idea of, uh, especially in the case of like developers developing new games for old systems, I think that's really cool. This is a really unique example where the game was done and sat on a shelf for 22 years. But, um, you know, eventually we got it. And uh, that's... That's exciting. At least that uh, finally came to fruition. All right. Thanks for watching. Let's be back tomorrow, shall we?